Hello everyone, Spongetrick here, and I found something really bad. This video needs no stalling whatsoever because, like, genuinely, I have to talk about this. I was originally just gonna make, like, this weird rant blog in the SSA, which is the SpongeBob SquarePants Amino, and uh, I felt like this was so bad that I don't even feel like I'm gonna get out everything I want to say in a blog, but rather in a video. So last night I went to YouTube and I all of a sudden wondered about the Band Geeks Reanimated collab. As you can probably imagine, that video has 1.2 million views currently at the time of making this video. It had so many videos views that I wondered if that video had more views than the Help One Reanimate collab which came out before that. So I wanted to go to the Extra Absorbent channel and try to find that video, and unfortunately I couldn't find it, so I was wondering what was going on. I even went in the description of the Band Geeks Reanimated collab video, and all that really linked to the Help One Reanimated collab was the Newgrounds link, which is something that I was definitely not looking for. I was really looking for the YouTube link. So then I actually searched in the YouTube Help One Reanimated collab, and... I got an interesting response. The first result was a re-upload, so that instantly told me that the video was no longer existing on YouTube. I was really curious why, and I really didn't want it to be the fact that Viacom took the video down for copyright. I was really hoping that it wasn't because I automatically thought that that would be really disgusting, really stupid, that that would be a thing. So then I actually clicked on the re-upload video, and then scrolled immediately down in the comments to see if someone actually had an explanation for what happened, and turns out the video was taken down by Viacom. And the rest of the comments was filled with a bunch of people complaining about this, saying how disgusting this is, saying how much of a terrible thing Viacom really has become. And yet, for some reason, this seems very silent. No one's really talking about this, there's no huge articles about it, there's no YouTube videos explaining this or really ranting about this. But in my mind, it's just as bad as that incident that happened in June of this year, where it was exposed that Nickelodeon waited for Hillenburg to die to make Camp Coral. Because this is on the exact same level of just outright disgust. If not, it's even worse than that situation that happened back in June. But first off, before I say anything else, I'm gonna make it clear that I know exactly why Viacom took it down. I know that audio is a huge problem, um, just stealing audio from an episode, uh, you know, that is pretty bad of a copyright claim. Uh, to get your video taken down, especially if it's more than 30 seconds, in fact, if it's way more than 30 seconds, then Viacom is going to take it down immediately. But here's the issue that I have. Viacom didn't take this down immediately. The, the actual video was up for like a month before Viacom took it down. The original video was uploaded on August 21st, 2019, which was Steven Hillenburg's birthday. And it took about until just recently when the video got taken down. So either Viacom purposely waited for the video to get a lot of views and traction to take it down, or they happened to find out from the Band Geeks collab, which probably has more views and I still don't know if it does, and decided to take it down due to popularity. Or all of a sudden Viacom was so lazy that they didn't even know about the video and decided to take it down. And to be honest, number one is probably the worst. But hey, I don't want to assume the worst out of Viacom, because after all, I'm a person who is very forgiving. Even when that forgiveness has been towards some of the worst companies. But, the problem that makes me draw the line is the fact that Spongebob makes them a lot of money, and the fact that the Help Wanted Reanimate collab is a tribute to Steven Hillenburg. Them taking down the video shows to me and everyone else that Viacom is ungrateful of what Steven Hillenburg has done to their network. The reanimated collab was um, responsible for bringing over 80 animators to animate, and also Viacom, you have to understand how animating takes a lot of work, a lot of effort, so getting over 80 animators to do this is absolutely insane. 
So you have to think of, so you have to think about all the time that it took to make that happen. But the thing is, Viacom is responsible for making SpongeBob the biggest show on their entire platform. It makes 5% of their total revenue from all of their networks combined. That includes BET, VH1, MTV, and most importantly, Nickelodeon. And by the way, remember why I said that SpongeBob SquarePants, a show, not a network, counts as 5% of Viacom's total revenue. Not Nickelodeon's total revenue, Viacom's total revenue. This show takes up 5% of that. And they're taking down this video for copyright that's supposed to be a tribute to Steven Hillenburg. How disgusting do you have to come up as? You just plotted to get rid of a video that that makes a better tribute to Steven Hillenburg than you could ever do Viacom. And in fact, this situation reminds me of another thing. So a while ago, Pogo, this person who makes a lot of mixes of a lot of sort of things from childhood, was paid by Nick in 2013 to create a remix for Spongebob. It was posted on their site as well as uploaded to their official channel. But somewhat recently, the video was taken down mysteriously by Viacom. It was one of those rare moments where Nickelodeon actually supported copyright abuse. They let this guy who used many clips of many different shows create remixes of theirs. And Viacom took it down for copyright. They even removed it from Nickelodeon's channel. And this comes to the perfect conclusion for this video, the, the part that I really want you to get out of this. Viacom is deaf because their ears are stuffed with money. Viacom doesn't care about anything because they know that, that they can get a gain out of it with a lot of revenue to come out of it. Oh look, a Steven Helmer tribute? Oh, I don't care, as long as I can get money out of it, it, it it's a big deal, I'll just copyright claim it. Eh, who cares, Steven Helmer, this guy who made us a lot of dollars and a lot of merchandise, a lot of people happy. You know, we don't really care about that guy for who he really is or his true talent. We just care about him because we can make a bunch of money off of him. And the main reason why I made this video, other than to get the stuff off my chest and to maybe cool down a bit, is to spread the word about this. Please share this video to as many people as you possibly can. This disgusting act needs to get to the public immediately. Because I cannot comprehend how selfish this practice is. To take all of that, to take all of that work that over 80 animators have made away from them, just because it has copyright in it, and the fact that you waited for this to immediately blow up just to do this is awful. And when you really think about it, that video wasn't monetized. So, Viacom looks like you didn't make anything off of it. You're just being a jerk. Yeah, Viacom, this makes you a bit of a jerk to sit through, a pain in the butt to get through. And no one will also want to work for you because of stupid things like this. Because people will know you as the butthole who is so greedy that they don't even know what they're doing. This makes me full aware of how greedy and what kind of a company Viacom truly is. All those positive tweets with a bunch of exclamation marks do not make up for this practice. And to be honest, I'm really tired and sick of hearing about Nickelodeon Viacom. They are two very brain-dead networks, just ready to get their hands on anything that will make them the most money, even when that money isn't really there. I'm a Spongeter, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.